non-stop, what's for breakfast? Uh, it's lunch. Lunch already? You just woke up. Welcome to Kim's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make this. Curry chickpea, avocado, kale and cabbage, salad. It's delicious. What you're gonna need for this salad? You're gonna need some kale, some red cabbage, avocado, garlic, chickpeas, and if you're gonna make your own dressing, you're gonna need some olive oil, vinegar, lemon juice. I'm gonna use some miso today. But if you want a good dressing hack, I recommend Green Goddess. It doesn't have a lot of extra crap in it. This is not backed by them at all. Mash up some garlic and put the chickpeas in a pan to fry them. These chickpeas have been soaked from dry bag but you can use canned chickpeas just fine. Probably have to add some salt if you're using the dry bag. Um, fry them up with some generous helping of olive oil. I love olive oil, so I use a lot of it. And you just fry them till the brown. So while those chickpeas are frying up, you want to um, rinse and chop up your kale, or if you want a time-saving hack, just buy the pre-washed, pre-chopped kale. But there's a catch with that. You have to pick out the stems, because they always leave these big, chunky, gross stems in there. Do not put stems in your salad. It'll ruin it. Then you chop up your cabbage, nice and thin. I went a little thick on that. Put it all in a bowl, and you're gonna massage it with some olive oil and some dressing. This is where I start my dressing with olive oil, vinegar, miso paste, and some fresh lemon. If I had my uh, ninja, I would stick this in the ninja and blend it all together and maybe sometimes I stick some cashews in it because that's delicious. We're working very primitive today, very minimalist, so a fork and a bowl will have to do. And you don't have to make it exactly smooth and perfect because you're gonna massage it into the salad. So now you just dump your dressing into the salad bowl. This is the important part because you're using two vegetables that are very tough and in order to make them edible, you need to really get in there. This is where I get Swedish chef on everyone and just start flinging leaves everywhere. <laughs> you want to use a lot of kale because it really um, minimizes as you massage it. It like turns into half the size. Double the size of what you're looking for and then it'll be half that size. What you're looking for by the time you're done. I used up all my kale last night so this is a smaller salad for me but uh, you guys get the drift. Lick your fingers and then wash them off. Chickpeas are getting nice and brown, and I'm gonna add some curry powder. Curry, 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 curry powder on my chickpeas. Curry, 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 curry powder on my chickpeas, yeah. I like curry, so I go a little heavy-handed on it. Mmm. Heavy-handed with my olive oil and heavy-handed with my curry. These guys are almost done. I like them extra crispy, so I'm gonna leave them on for a little bit longer. They're like really yellow now, which is gonna be nice offset to the purple of the cabbage, the green of the kale, and the bright green avocado. So this is like the most professional cooking I get for you guys. Now I take my avocado and I draw lines in it. Nice little geometric pattern here. Little hash checks. Now you stick your fingers in here and you pop those little squares out. Little squares. And you put them on your salad. This avocado is especially mushy. Big chunks of avocado. Lick your fingers. That's important. If you're the only one eating the salad, you don't need to go wash your hands again, but if you're serving this to other people, you probably shouldn't lick your fingers. Pop out those chunks. Boom. Ooh, this one's nice. Chunky, chunky monkey. Chunky avocado. Mm. Little trick about getting the uh, seed out. Whack it with the knife. Oops, don't miss. I always miss. This is why I should never be allowed to do this. And there you go. And Elliot's trick for getting the seed off is to thread the fork. Boom. Pop the seed off, nice and easy. And then we draw a little designs in the avocado, and we pop out the squares. Mmm, chunky, chunky avocado. This is where I add a little salt and pepper on top of the avocado. See, we could serve this just as is, and it's a pretty delicious salad. The chickpeas add some protein and a lot of flavor. Now we top it with a nice spoonful right on top there. Chickpeas are nice and warm and crispy. It adds like a nice texture to it. Et voila! Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Support me on Patreon. I give half of my money to Girls Inc. And enjoy your delicious salad. I will see you here next week. Bye. Save some for me. <laughs>